guys, thank you for joining me back here on Unfrazzle Me. Um, I have been planning on talking about uh, running with a stroller because if you have been a runner before having a little kid, um, transitioning to running with a stroller might actually be a little challenging at first until you get used to it. Um, and I also wanted to throw into the mix um, a question I had on social media and um, some of those questions were asking what type of running stroller I have. Um, I want you to know that with running strollers, we are looking at strollers with two wheels in the back, one wheel in the front. Um, that's usually how they're set up. If you try running with a regular stroller, you might have more trouble or more difficulty. Not to say it can't be done. Um, so, but this video today, we're discussing primarily um, a running stroller. It might also be called a jogger. Um, so when you are out shopping for those running strollers or those joggers, you will see a whole price range out there. It's kind of amusing, really. Um, you'll find some as cheap as like $49 going all the way up to $500. What a steal. And I think those are from some, for some pretty serious runners who plan on doing a lot. Like, okay, I had my baby, now I'm training for a marathon. <laughs> Which in my life, that's not the way it went. I had a very colicky baby and that amount of running was not possible. Um, so the stroller we ended up going with, um, we found it on sale for maybe $75. A full uh, price is, oh, let's see here. We got it on a closeout sale from this company. Um, full price is $170. Um, and it's done really well. My husband and I are on completely different ends of the running spectrum. Um, he does more marathons. I do more 5Ks. And we're both fine with this $170 stroller that we got for 75 bucks. <laughs> it's working really well for us. Um, so I wanted to throw that in there to answer some of those questions I've been getting on social media. But I also want to talk about having um, a baby in a stroller and running with them. Um, of course, it's a little heavier because you're like pushing another human. But um, I do also want to say to clear it with your doctor first. Um, infants, before you put them in the running stroller, they need to be about three to four months old. And that's to make sure that they are able to stabilize their neck and their head and that it's not uh, being jolted back and forth and causing an injury to them. So I have to say that and put that out there. Um, beyond that, as they get a little bit older, um, I want to share some challenges that I had with, <laughs> with my own baby. Um, she hates being confined and she gets bored easily. Um, so a couple things I did to help her out was to fill like this little tray in front of the stroller with Cheerios, with snacks, with a bottle of milk. Um, as she got a little bit older, I filled it with some toys. Now she's two years old and oh, I carry an iPad with us and stuffed animals and whatever the heck she wants to play with. So um, the stroller can really get weighted down with everything you bring for baby or for yourself. Um, because after you have a stroller, you're like, why not bring a bottle of water? Why not bring uh, my cell phone and maybe some Kleenex because it's allergy season or something like that. The strollers get really weighted down and please do not be discouraged at the fact that you will be running much slower with the stroller. Keep it up, it's a great workout. And if anything, it's more of a full body workout than just your average run, you know, by yourself. <laughs> anyway, so um, keep it up. Go out there and look at the running strollers that are on the market. I think you'll find some that are very versatile. Um, look for ones that can transition with your baby or your child as they get older and bigger. Um, so you don't have to continue to go shopping. You just have one and it's good until they're like three years old. Um, so that's my tidbit, my little piece of advice. If you have any questions, please post below. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up and um, hit the subscribe. And otherwise, you can find me on social media. I primarily hang out on Instagram at unfrazzleme. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Enjoy your run and good luck with your